Hi, this is Luke Smith with Waves, and we're going to put the new nonlinear summing plugin through its paces. NLS is the culmination of years of research done by the Waves team to accurately reproduce the pleasing harmonic characteristics associated with classic analog mixing consoles. To achieve this, we decided to model 32 separate analog channels of three different consoles as well as their master buses. That way one can experience the full richness and warmth of analog mixing while inside the box. During the research period, we were able to discern that a large majority of the warmth and depth behind analog consoles comes from the dynamic harmonic response and the frequency response of each individual channel. No two analog channels are exactly alike, and all these minute differences summed together seem to be where a large majority of that analog sound comes from. The master buses on analog consoles also play a large role in shaping and coloring the sound, which is why we model the left and right channel of each master bus to accurately reproduce the perceived stereo image and the bus amplifier harmonics of each console. For the different console settings, we called upon three top producer engineers, Spike Stent, Mike Hedges, and Yoa Nevo. Yoa generously provided the track which I'll use to demonstrate the NLS. Let's open up a multi-track session and go through some different options. With NLS, we created both channel and bus components. The channel component can either be used on the first insert slot or on the last insert slot. In this session, most of these tracks are pre-mixed, so I'm going to use NLS at the end of the signal path. First, I'm going to instantiate a channel instance on every individual track by option clicking on an insert slot and selecting the NLS channel instance located in Plugins, Harmonics. If I take a closer look at which channel model has been loaded, I can see that NLS loaded the different spike channel models in sequential order, recreating a non-linear scenario. If I wanted to, I can click on our Load Presets button and select any one of the 96 input channels we modeled to randomize the modeling however I want. For instance, if I wanted Spike's channel 14 model on my DAW track number 1, this menu gives you the option to do that, allowing maximum flexibility. Now let's load the bus instance on the master bus track. I don't have any subgroups created in this session, but you can also use the bus instance on any aux subgroup, allowing you to create several mini consoles inside your mix. Looking at the parameters of the channel instance, the top three buttons allow me to select which console model I want to use. The drive will dynamically add extra harmonic saturation the more it is turned up. But even at the zero setting, there will be a noticeable effect. We even modeled the noise of each analog channel, but then decoupled it from the channel model, allowing you to turn it off here. You can bypass the effect here. When selected, this mic button gives you a 20 dB boost and will simulate the crunchy effect you might hear when routing audio to an analog console and switching the input from line to mic during mixing. We can also create VCA groups. Using VCA-style grouping in this plugin allows any combination of channel instances to be controlled, regardless of the routing in your session. We give you the ability to assign up to eight different groups that will allow you to globally control the drive, noise, bypass, and volume of all channel instances. If you need quick control of a particular VCA group, the VCA console is accessible from any channel or bus instance. Finally, we give you an output fader that allows you to use this plugin as another gain stage. On the bus instance, we have a bus drive knob, a trim knob to give a final boost if needed, and a VCA group selector knob. The VCA group console gives you global control over all instances assigned to that group. In fact, I want to use the Neve channel modeling on only the drums, so I'm going to solo out my drum tracks. Then I'm going to change each channel instance to the Nevo setting and keep the VCA group number one selected. Let's play that back and hear what it sounds like. I can instantly hear more depth and warmth on my drums, as well as my stereo image opening up as I compare the plugin bypassed and not bypassed. I'm going to clear the solo on my drums and pull up the bus instance again. Here you see we can switch between the different console mix buses. 
One of the most amazing ideas behind this plugin is not only can you use different models on your individual tracks, but you can also theoretically send Nevo channels to a mic bus, spike channels to a Neve bus. The number of possibilities really is staggering. Let's play back one more time and listen to some different settings. There you have it. From these examples, it is quite clear that NLS is taking in-the-box summing to a whole new level. We also recommend taking a moment to download the seven-day demo and using NLS in your own listening environment. Thank you.